Yo guys, it's your boy Fabian, back again with another video. And it's time for yet another Eurovision reaction and today's turn is Armenia. So you're representing Armenia in Eurovision 2023 this year is Brunette and the song's called Future Lover. So yeah, I'm excited to see what Armenia's got for us because last year they had a banger, it went viral and yeah, I really like that one. So let's see what they got for us this time. But before we check out guys, make sure you subscribe down below, press the bell notification button down below so you can be the first to know when I upload. If you're a big Eurovision fan, make sure you check out all the other reactions I've done from this year's Eurovision because I reacted to absolutely everything. So let's stop the talking and cracking with the reaction. Armenia's entry to Eurovision 2023 Brunette, future lover, let's go. I just wanna make our dream books and just find someone who likes me enough to kiss my face. I wanna explore with him and visit our bookstores and cute little things like dreams. Okay, so it's an interesting start. It's a bit of a slow start again, there's not much music going on, you can just hear the piano in the background, but she sounds like she's a good singer. Again, it's not a live performance, so there's only so much you can you can um, judge the vocals, but it does sound good. I also like what they've done with the vocals, where it sounds a bit echoey. I do like that. Okay, so still, is on the slow side but i don't know why i could be completely wrong and i have been wrong quite a few times with the entries in this year's eurovision but i feel like it's going to switch up out of nowhere i don't know why i don't think it's going to be anything dancey or clubby but i do feel like it's going to switch up at some point it's feeling a little bit r&b-esque do you know what i mean so um yeah i can see it switching up Okay, so this one does feel a little bit grand. It feels a little bit majestic. Um, what I would say with this one is there's not much music going on, so it's very um, vocals orientated. So I don't know what she's like live, but with this song, she's gonna have to be good live. If she's not good live, it's gonna be very obvious, and that's where I think the performance would then flop. So um, yeah, I don't know what she's like live, but she's gonna have to be good. Okay, so, so far, yeah, this is a very, very interesting one. I'd probably say this is one of the most interesting entries so far and I'll tell you why. For me, I think this is a nice song. I really like the song, right? But it would be a bit stupid and a bit naive of me and to be honest, a bit um, contradicting to myself if with other reactions I've said that because it's a good song doesn't mean it's a good Eurovision song. And I've also said that um, it could get lost somewhere in between a song that's incredible and something that's very quirky, even if it's not good. And I think this is a really good song. I'll give my overall opinion at the end. But those things do have to be taken into consideration. You see, I told you it's gonna switch up. It just had that feel to it. It had a bit of an R&B feel to it. And when is that? Listen, it's not R&B and what like people nowadays would think, right? When I talk about r and I'm talking about r and when I grew up and it's got that feeling to it, yeah? And I felt that in the first 30 seconds. And yeah, this is what I expected when I said it's gonna switch up. That's why I said, I don't think it's gonna be anything dancey or anything um, clubby, but when it switches up, I think it's gonna switch up. And that's what happened there. That was a nice touch. I really like that. like this one I do really like this one you know I don't know what you guys think let me know in the comments below if you're Armenian or if you're just 
you live in Armenia, but I don't know, you got some kind of connection to Armenia. Let me know um, how do you feel about this song, how do you feel about this entry representing your country, and how well do you potentially think you could do this year? This is a nice song. This is a really nice song here. Yeah. Honestly, it's one of my favorite entries this year. It is one of my favorite entries this year. And um, look, Armenia is one of those countries, right, where they got good music, right? They got good music. Um, sometimes good entries, sometimes not so great, right? So it's one of those where I was looking forward to Armenia's entry, but I wasn't sure how they would come. But They've absolutely smashed it. This song for me is incredible. Absolutely love this song. You know what, yeah, let me know something about it in the comments below because um, I've done a little bit of reading I've, I've done that with every um, artist when i've done the entries um but obviously i don't know the full background but i think i saw somewhere that she had a song that went viral recently like five million views or something like that or she wrote a song for someone that got five million views i don't know let me know in the comments below but yeah tell me um how popular is she is she brand new to the scene yeah just tell me something about her This year has the potential to have incredible staging. And I'll tell you why, yeah. So look at the video now, right, where you've got all the mist and you've got like the nice outfit and it's just feeling majestic and it's grand and it's just like, it's just spectacular to watch, yeah. I think if they go down the same route for the semi final, they're gonna smash it. Because this song and the vibe of this one, yeah, I don't know, I just see like a lot of mist, a lot of, I don't know what a lot of, well, I don't know what else. Yeah, but I can just picture it. I don't know what I picture, but I can, I, for some reason I can just see it. I don't know what I see, but I see it, if that makes sense. Alright guys, that's it for checking out Armenia's entry to Eurovision 2023. Let's talk about what we just saw. And um, listen, for me, I don't think there's any negatives with this one. The only negative you could probably say is that um, it's not one of those like songs that's gonna get everyone on their feet. But you know what, end of the day, it doesn't necessarily have to be. And also, a uh, majority of the songs are not like that this year anyway. So uh, yeah, look, for me, no negatives, just positives. And to be honest, very catchy song. I don't know what she's gonna be like live, so that could actually be a negative, but that's not really a negative in that I'm not saying she's a bad singer, I just don't know what she's like live. But here, very nice voice, um, everything was on point. The song was very, very catchy, it switched up here and there. She had a little part where it was kind of like rap as well. So yeah, I really like this one. For me, this 100%, a million percent gets to the final. I have no doubt about that. So uh, yeah, Armenia, I can't wait to see this live. You absolutely smashed it. So brunette, Armenia, good luck for the semi-final. But that's it for the reaction, guys. Gonna wrap things up. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Comment below some more suggestions. I'll try to check out for you guys as always. But I'm gonna have to love you and leave you. So thanks for watching. Keep yourself safe out there. Have a good day. Have a good evening. And until next time, guys, I hope you have a good one.